Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a small grocery haul for you guys. I just wanted to share it because I got a couple new things. So I hope you stick around. I think I'm gonna go back to starting with produce today, just the way I lined it up. So I did buy some arugula. I really wanna have a watermelon feta salad and I love it over arugula. And I'll share that when I actually make it. It's one of my favorite salads for the summer. It's so good. So I did get some arugula. I got some mushrooms. As always, this is a grocery delivery. So I see it's like half the mushrooms are missing. It's just kind of strange, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna look at the price to see how much these were. Um, it does say eight ounces, so maybe they weighed it, hopefully. <laughs> but these are probably gonna be for dinner tonight. I'm gonna cook up some pork chops. So I'll just saute some of the mushrooms. And then back here, I have some cilantro. Um, as you guys, if you watched any of my other grocery hauls, you know right now I'm obsessed with mango salsa. Usually I serve it over salmon and it's so delicious. Next up are just two zucchini. I buy a zucchini every time I get a delivery, so no big deal. <laughs> this is an eggplant. Also, I get it just about every delivery I get. I get delivery about every two weeks, so yeah. And if this is your first time seeing my videos, I buy eggplant because I like to do what I call a Greek inspired meal. And I'm gonna link a couple of the videos that I've made showing how I make my Greek inspired meal <laughs> dinner. Um, I do use either eggplant or zucchini or both. Sometimes I mix it, but usually with chicken. And I will, if you want to see that, I'll put it in the description. So I think there's two videos I've done. Something I don't buy too often are potatoes like this. Um, they're just, of course, high in carbs. But what I'll probably do is maybe just bake one of them and my husband and I will share it depending on what else I have. I'm not sure what meal that's going with, but I just like to have them on hand. And these last a pretty long time in the pantry till I'll be ready to use them. Next up, I just bought two jalapeno peppers. These are kind of big, which is okay. I'll just do half with some cilantro and mango for the salsa. It'll be delicious. And then I just, when I cut this in half, obviously, I just refrigerate it and it lasts at least a couple more days and I can make another batch of mango salsa. <laughs> Or sometimes I add it to like rice if I'm doing like brown rice and I kind of want to flavor it up. I'll do the other half of the jalapeno pepper and then a little cilantro also. That tastes really good too. Then another staple I always get are romaine hearts. These aren't as small as last week. Last week I went through them in like three days because they were just enough for one salad. These look like I'm gonna get two salad per head and there's three of them in here, so that's good. Then of course I bought a watermelon and if you saw my grocery haul delivery last time, I'll link that video also below so you can watch it if you want. I bought a watermelon, a mini watermelon seedless. It was so delicious. So I really think that little trick about having some yellow on it, I'd probably like a little more yellow, but I think it's really true. It was so delicious. Then another staple, I always get some kind of tomatoes. These are my favorite. And soon we're gonna be getting some fresh garden tomatoes. So I'm excited about that. And then another staple are some peppers. I don't always get the tricolor peppers, but they had them on sale this time, so I got them. And just so if you haven't seen any other videos, I will cut one of these up for my omelets in the morning. I put it in a mason jar and they stay fresh for quite a while. The others, you know, I'll cook with it during the week or I'll... They stay pretty well too, so I can have even a second batch for my omelets. And then, of course, I always buy the cucumber. And if you saw my last grocery haul, I had the tiniest one ever. 
My husband actually got me one about, I don't know, midweek because <laughs> I ran out. This one's a pretty good size, so I'm happy about that. I really like to snack on these and put them in my salads. Like today for lunch, I had a little snack plate and I just cut some up with some tzatziki as a dip with some other things. So yeah, I love cucumber. Today I just have one frozen item. It's kind of strange, but I just needed to restock on my baby broccoli. I buy this almost every grocery haul. I like to keep it in the freezer. And if I haven't mentioned it a million times already, I will roast this up right from frozen for a 25 degree oven. You put it on a sheet pan, spray it with oil, salt and pepper or whatever seasonings you want. I do about 10 or 15 minutes. I stir it up, do another probably 10 minutes and it comes out perfect. But I also steam this, like I like to steam it next to fish and have it with rice, it's really good. So yeah, just a staple. Okay, and here are a couple new items. So I usually buy this Fairlife protein shake. I usually buy the vanilla and I make a pistachio pudding with it or I buy the chocolate to make a chocolate pudding. But I saw they had strawberry. So I thought it might be fun to make kind of a cheesecake style pudding. <laughs> something like that. So I, I want to try this. This is the one that's higher in protein. So I don't know how it's going to taste, but I want to try it out. So let's look at the macros. Okay. This one is much higher in calories. It's 238 calories for the bottle. It is 42 grams of protein, like it says on the front, and it's eight grams of carbs. So when I make the pudding, I typically cut this in half when I add my other ingredients, and that's a serving, but I think I might do four servings with this. It's a lot of calories and a lot of protein, which is good. So we'll see how that's gonna work out. Okay, and this other item was totally an impulse buy. I keep seeing this woman on social media talk about this. She follows Weight Watchers, and I guess she counts it as zero. I think she said it's normally one point. So as you can see, it's just a cold foam to go on top of your iced coffee. I just really want to try it. Um, not for any other reason. I'm sure it's not that high in protein. Yeah, it has no protein. But two tablespoons, only 20 calories and three carbs. So again, like I said, just kind of an impulse buy. I want to give it a try. I kind of was swayed by social media <laughs> just to make an iced coffee fun. Um, as I probably mentioned before, I do iced coffee. I do it with a protein shake. So this will give it just a little bit of extra whatever. <laughs> and another sort of new item, I guess you could say, are some mozzarella pearls. I just thought it would be fun to make a caprese salad with my little cherry tomatoes and some little pearl mozzarella. I think a while back I bought them at some point, so it's not really truly new, but um, I thought it would just be fun. And as you can see, the serving size is one ounce, as most cheeses are, but it's only 70 calories. And let's see, total carbs is less than one. And where's my favorite protein? Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Five grams of protein for one ounce. So I could even double that, just kind of making a salad with that and the tomatoes. And also another new item that I bought. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. It's coming in a minute. It's this. I'm going to try to put some pesto in my caprese. Of course, normally I do fresh basil. I actually didn't grow any this year, which I normally do. Um, I just decided not to. Sometimes I just get too much and most people I would share it with, um, they grow their own. <laughs> so I just thought this would be fun because I could also make like a pizza on a little low carb tortilla, um, just flavor up some chicken, maybe even toss some shrimp in it. So I just thought it would be fun to try this. I'm sure it's not great on macros, but let's check it out. Okay, so quarter of a cup is how many calories? 
230 calories. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely not using that much. Um, I knew it would be high. I mean, it's basically oil, nuts, and basil. But anyway, let's see what the carbs are. Six carbs. Oh, one fiber. So five net carbs and two grams of protein. So yeah, that's going to have to be used sparingly, which I figured. And honestly, it has so much flavor. You don't really need to use a lot. So I'm excited about that. And these are two more repeat buys always. Daisy Light Sour Cream and my Shibani Creamer. So yeah, the, I buy them all the time. This is my favorite creamer. If I use creamer, um, I just, I like the taste of it and I think it's a little bit better for you than some of the others. Next item are my little naan breads. These are kind of the mini ones. This is what I serve with my Greek inspired meal, my dinner. And we usually dip some cedar uh, tzatziki sauce. We use that as a dipper for these, it's delicious. So one naan, which is plenty, let me tell you, 160 calories, 24 total carbs, and two grams of fiber, so 22 net carbs and five grams of protein. So get a little protein from these and they taste really, really good. All of these are pretty much repeat buys. I get the paste picante sauce. I like to use it for my breakfast quesadillas. Um, also, if we have tacos, delicious. Then my light Italian dressing. Um, I've mentioned it before. I do make my own dressing, which I love. But this, in a pinch for lunch, it stays good for a long time. It doesn't go bad so quickly like homemade. It's very low in calories. It's only 35 calories for two tablespoons. I should know this by heart by now. But um, yeah, let's see what the carbs are. So it's three carbs and zero protein. And I like the taste of this. So there you go. Okay, a word of caution when ordering online. <laughs> this container of adobo seasoning is humongous. I don't know if you can tell by like the size of my hand, it's huge. I like to buy this just as a sprinkling, usually on my eggs when I make the quesadillas in the morning, <laughs> but I didn't realize how big it is. I didn't pay attention to the size. So I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Because I literally used just a sprinkle of it, but that's okay. I don't think it will even fit in my pantry on the shelf, so I'm going to have to put it in a smaller container. But word to you guys to pay attention to size if you do online shopping. I always buy this ground turkey. It's my favorite. Like I mentioned in my last video, I just buy it with not necessarily a plan, I do still have half of the one that I had bought the last grocery haul because I only used half, but that's okay. I'll put this in my freezer. I can make turkey meatloaf. I have a really good recipe for that. It tastes delicious. I can add some taco seasoning and make taco meat. I can add it to spaghetti sauce, which is what I did a couple days ago and cook it up with some vegetables and, and some tomato sauce. It's delicious over some high protein pasta. So yeah, endless ideas for this. I always buy it. Also, pretty much another repeat buy. I don't always buy them, but probably every other delivery, I get the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And this will probably be for this week for the Greek meal that I'm gonna make. We really like the thighs with the Greek and I'll marinate these and then my husband will cook them on the grill. They'll be really yummy. Last item, it's not a repeat buy and it's not brand new to me. I have bought this before. I think I was getting burnt out on it so I kind of stopped buying it. But I like to have this because it lasts long and it tastes pretty good and I don't really care for turkey bacon. Sometimes I don't even like real bacon. I find it way too smoky, I guess. So this is just good for me in the morning. Um, it adds some protein. It cooks up real quick because, of course, it's pretty much pre-cooked. has no nitrates or uh, nitrites, so that makes me happy. It's, it's, as you can see, uncured chicken bacon. 
So let me flip it over and let's look at the macros. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, so two slices is 35 calories, one carb, and six grams of protein. And again, it just cooks up really quick and it tastes pretty good. I will also use this if I have like an egg sandwich. It's yummy on that, quick to kind of just put together in the morning. So yeah, give this a try if you haven't tried it already. Okay, that's the end of the video. I think it went pretty quick this time. It was a little bit of a smaller haul, but I hope you like some of the new items I picked out. Maybe give them a try yourself. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And also, if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.